Hey guys, welcome back to DSC. In this video, we will be doing the important questions for solving exact differential equation using the grouping method. The concept we have already done in the previous video, go and check that out. So the first question which we are given is to solve the initial value problem wherein we are given the equation 3x square y square minus y cube plus 2x dx plus 2x cube y minus 3x y square plus 1 dy uh, and also the initial problem given is y of minus 2 here is 1 so first we will segregate it as m and n so we are given 3x square y square minus y cube plus 2x as m and this one as n now the next step which we have to do is check for the exactness so first we will calculate del m by del y which comes out to be as 3x square into 2y minus 3y square which finally comes out to be as 6x square y and now we'll calculate del n by del x which comes out to be as 2y into 3x square calculating we get it as 6x square y now as del m by del n equals to sorry as del m by del y equals to del n by del x the given equation is exact and now we can go on solving the equation using the grouping method now using grouping method we have just uh, simply opened up the bracket with dx uh, I mean uh, the whole bracket is opened up here and now we will first here we have stacked only the x variable and here is only y variable and the remaining we have the partial derivatives first we look on here 2x is a derivative of x square and 1 is a derivative of y so we have y here and x square here remaining we have got this for this we have 3x square y actually we are given with four terms which means that here for partial derivative we have two things in the brackets so first 3x square y square and y cube and 2x cube y and 3xy square as you can see that yeah maybe uh, which go on together is these may go on together which is this one and this one how like we are given with 3x square so when it is deriv when it is differentiated with respect to x y square is common y square remains the same which is y square and then we have for here we when we differentiate it with respect to y it comes out to be 2y so y square is the one thing the second we have got is 3x square so and when we don't differentiate it we have got x cube so the first is x cube y square similarly for this we can calculate just by the same method as y cube x so it is y cube x so now the next we have got is x cube y and y cube x just taking d common here now integrating both side we get the equation x square plus x cube y square minus y cube x plus y equals to c now as we are given with the initial problem so y of minus 2 is 1 which means y is equal to 1 and x equals to minus 2 now just simply putting the values of x and y here we get c as minus 1 and again in the equation we put the value of c so we have got this equation and this is the final solution which we have got next is a question in which we are given with the equation which involves exponential so it's y e to the power x plus 2 e to the power x plus y square dx plus e to the power x plus 2 x y dy at y 0 equals to 6 so here we have just simply noted down y m here and n now del m by del y is e x plus 2 y and del n by del x is also e x plus 2 y as they both are same which means that the equation is exact now we can go on solving with the grouping method so using grouping method we have just simply opened up the brackets writing dx with all the variables which you've got and we will again look on to the x terms we will first segregate them and the y terms and then we look on to the terms which have both x and y so here only x term is there we don't have any term in which only y is there so 2ex dx we have written at one corner and the remaining here so 2 into ex is the derivation of actually 2 into ex and the next we have is y ex now if you look on here 
dx, you know, if we derivate it with respect to x, so y remains common. So, ek to term y hoga. Now, if we derivate with respect to y, we have got two terms. Only one is with ex, which means these two terms go together. So, abhi ex hai, jab humne y ka derivative kiya. So, yani ki jab y ke saath coefficient tha, sirf wo aaya. So, wo ho gaya ex. So, humare pas ek bracket mein aaya y into ex. Now, looking on to this one, we have y square dx plus 2xy. अब इसमें जब when we differentiated it with respect to x तो उसका coefficient आया which is y square और जब ने x के y के respect में differentiate किया तो उसका coefficient आया which is x क्योंकि y square का derivative तो 2y हो गया तो एक आ गया हमारे पास y square x एक आ गया y e x तो wait a minute yep and now d of e x plus d of y e x plus y square x taking d common integrating both sides we have got the equation so it's putting on the values of y 0 equals to 6 wherein y is 6 and x is 0 simply just putting on the values now we've got the equation here and here it is e to the power 0 into 8 and as e to the power 0 is 1 we got c as 8 and now this is the final equation c as 8 putting the values of c this is the final answer and here comes an end to the video we will be doing next is the integrating factor which is used when the equation is not exact uh, till here we have done all the cases in which the equation is exact using the two methods the basic one and the grouping one whichever you like whichever you feel easy go on with that and if you haven't seen previous videos go and check that out if you like the video please like share comment and do tell which part I mean you want to be explained again or anything else you want any important question which you're having doubt in and please subscribe to the channel to keep us motivated thank you so much stay safe stay home thank you